Welcome back. This is the Light Forges Arena Valuation Tier List Saviors of Oldham um, Stream YouTube Podcast Extravaganza. We are in our fourth hour and we have just started on our first class card. Amazing. Let's go. We're going to finish in time. We're going to finish before tomorrow. This is fine. Tomorrow uh so we are on rogue so how we're gonna do this normally we go by alphabetical order but as someone with a last name that starts very late in the alphabet i realized i was just propagating the unfairness that has been dealt to me and so we're gonna change things up uh blizzard made a, a slight mistake um in the last few days uh just a very little one where uh they did the rotation without the new cards, but all the new rotation is in. So for the last like few days, there has been no Rise of Mech stuff. And instead there has been Cabals and Catacombs, Ungoro, um, what else is coming back? League of Explorers. That has all been back. And what we're gonna do is look at the win rates that HS Replay has collected for that meta. Because that's actually the base that we're entering into with the Saviors of Oldham cards coming in. So we're going to go in that order from the best, highest win rate class to the lowest win rate class. Uh, I'm, I'm going to spoil it for you. The lowest win rate class is Warrior and the highest win rate class is Rogue. Everybody is surprised. Okay. Sound good? Yes. All right. All right. All right. So we're also going to do this from uh, with all the classes, starting from common cards, then to rares, then to epics and legendaries. We used to do them by best cards to worst cards, uh, but because they're not being offered in the same rates again, like rarities matter again in the arena. Um, so your common cards are going to be seen like more than twice as often as your rare cards, which are going to be seen like three, four times almost uh, as often as your epic cards. And then I don't even know what legendaries are seen at. So we're just going to go by rarity. Okay. Okay. All right. So first card. Do you want to start us off with our, with our best rogue card coming in? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let us talk about Feral Cat. Feral Cat is a one mana, one, two beast. Uh, battle cry, add a random reborn minion to your hand it's a common class minion so you're gonna see this uh, a decent amount it is in the fourth bucket by the way it, it's coming in at a 127 this is a good card guys if we're talking about fourth bucket 127 uh, also keep in mind that like all the 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 centering has has happened um and now like eviscerates a 126 so this is eviscerate level. You can think of it that way. If you're normally yeah. in the mind frame that eviscerates like a 140, th there's been some power creep um, going on in this expansion. So all of the scores are a little deflated compared to what you normally think. Yep. So I think that's a good way to do it. You know, when we, whenever we get into a class, we can sort of establish at the very beginning. It's like, okay, this is the best card. And this is, uh, you know, where eviscerate is. This is where swipe is. This is where bless and kings is, right? Uh, and and we, we can do this to really center it and anchor it for people. But Feral Cat, so good. Why is this a 1-2? I have no idea. Why couldn't it just be a 1-1? One, one? I have no idea. Reborn minions are really good. <laughs> um, your average Reborn minion is, is going to be really, really good. So, uh, yeah, just take this, activate combos, be really annoying, do the rogue things. Yup. I don't have much to say about it. It is what it is. It's pretty basic. It's just design. a simple, simple design, but it's pretty, like premium. Oh yeah, Smelly Head uh, in chat is talking about how he can get Colossus from this card. You, Reborn, you can. you can get him. All right, you can get Rat Golem. Next card, two mana, clever disguise, hundred twenty one points. It's pretty damn good. Like. Uh, it's, uh, add two random spells from another class to your hand. So it's two mana to get two cards and their spells. So they're usually a little better than regular cards. That's good. I'm, I'm done. I, I mean, that, that, that's pretty much it. Spells are good. Getting spells is good. Um, yeah, it, like, you probably won't get both spells that are super duper premium, but spells are generally good. There you go. That's yeah. it. All right. 
Next card. Still common. We're in the commons. Three mana, two, two. Combo, gain plus two attack. Remember, this is rogue. So in another class, this may be like really good. But here, it's only like a 107, which makes it a little bit the better weapon, than a Yeti. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a weapon. Scimitar. Yeah. Uh, hook scimitar. Yeah. Yeah, scimitar. Sure. It's a sword. Um, so you, you never play it as a three mana, two, two. Or you, you shouldn't because you have a dagger. Um, so it would be a weird circumstance to lay as a 3 mana 2-2. Two, two. You eventually get a 3 mana 4-2, which would be a really good weapon normally. But again, your rogue can't dagger if you do that. What are you really doing? It's probably going face actually knowing rogues. Like, it's yep. it's just awkward. Pretty awkward here. Okay. Uh, and the scimitar is a fourth bucket, apparently. Hmm. Cool. Where is Perdition's Blade? I don't think Perdition's Blade is on this list. We'll have to figure that out. Um, so yeah, so this is better than Poison Blade. I think this is worse than Perdition's Blade, but Perdition's Blade is not here right now. So I don't know what happened. No, no, oh no, you're, Perdition's you're, Blade is rare. You're, yeah, you're leaving it out. Uh, Perdition's Blade is higher. Yeah, Perdition's Blade is higher. a little bit higher. It's two points higher. Which I think is uh, is fair. Yeah, I think that's I'd rather have a Perdition's fair. Blade than this, definitely. As yeah. Rogue, you just care about your health so much. Yeah, and the flexibility and the ability to sort of divide the damage more yeah. um, is better. So um, I definitely think Perdition's Blade is, is better, especially with all the Reborns coming out as well. I want the, the pings uh, more so than the, uh, the front-loaded pure damage. That's fair. All right, moving on into the rares. I'm going to start things off with, with uh, my bad. Um, Plague of Madness uh, is rated at 8. It is one mana. Each player equips a 2-2 knife with poisonous. So when the card first came out, I was like, ah, it's one mana. It's a hard removal. Then they get to do stuff. You can set it up, right? Like, maybe maybe there's there's something to that, um, and it will be not terrible. Uh, no, it's terrible. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought it was going to end up somewhere like an 80 or a 70. Um, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an 8. It's not really playable, apparently, uh, which is fair. You are giving your opponent who may not be cat like they may not have like weapon stuff um to like this like really good weapon um and they are probably less concerned about their health than you are concerned about your health so there's a lot of things working against it yeah i don't know about this um I can see this going a little bit higher it's not one that i'm so confident and so insistent on being higher, but I could definitely see this a little bit higher. I'll have to see. This is a card that I I, I just really don't know. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it confuses me a little bit right now, but I'll keep this one in the back of my mind. All right. Uh, next is your best card in Rogue that's coming in. It is a Sackett Sapper. You're all going to hate this card. Just, we're, we're all going to have to live with it. It is a 4 mana 4-4 four, four, Death Rattle Sap. Yeah. So it's basically on curve, and when it dies, it will sap something. Yeah. Taro in chat says Sapper is fourth bucket. Oh, come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> come on. Why? Uh, okay, random sap. It's death rattle, so it has to be random. Yeah, but, but... why? <laughs> I don't think I have to explain why this is super powerful. Uh, yes, we are calculating in the fact that your opponent could have like a battle cry mini or something that they actually want to get right. sap. This like, is all factored in. It's a death. It's, it's delayed. It's random. Still, <laughs> still really good. Oh come on, man. All right, whatever. Okay, yeah, we'll deal with it. It's a one forty two. It's good. Like, 142 right now, is it? Like, Sap itself is 168. This is obviously not as good as a Sap. But it's, like, yeah. Phantom Knives, Walk the Plank, like, Assassinate. It, it's, like, is is a delayed random Sap that your opponent can control sometimes still really good? That's also a 4-drop. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's still really good. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Bazaar Mugger is 128, which again, this is like Eviscerate level. This is yeah, good. Five, this is good. Five mana, three, five rush. Battle cry. Add a random minion from another class to your hand. 
So okay. it's just another take on your normal like uh, add a card um, thing. It's now a rush. What's a rush three five normally? Like probably like four mana. You add one mana, you get a random card. Something. Yeah, it's a little bit. I would say it's like three and a half mana. Kind no. of. Or, or sorry, four and a half. Four mana. and a half four mana. And a half. Mm. Kind of thing. Um, so yeah, you know, good good value. Um, that's sort of where we're at. Yep. So just a powerful card. Not anything game breaking or anything, but good power levels. Um, so overall, the rogue got. I'd say like if this were a normal set, I would say like for the commons and rares, rogue got a good haul. But as you will see, for saviors of Oldham, rogue did not get a good haul. This is no. this is like bottom of the barrel. Sadly. It's like, oh, you only get one premium and one semi-premium card? And the premium card's a rare, that's not a common? Oh, that's hilarious. Whew. All right. So, Mugger is apparently bottom of second, top of third bucket. That's fair. That's fair. That, that's really fair. And you know what that means? That's bad value. <laughs> <laughs> because fair doesn't get you anywhere. <laughs> okay, guys? Fair means bad okay you don't play fair in saviors of oldham rotation you play dirty and you play just just like first bucket that they bucketed in in fifth bucket kind of thing okay that's how you do it fair nah that's not that's not the light forge way anymore no all right okay so we got we got more uh cards that are coming in for rogue these are epics you're really not going to see these a lot but uh, they do have an offering bonus maybe you'll see them sometimes one is World Kick Master. Two mana, one, two. Whenever you play a combo card, add a random combo card to your hand. Then you can just play that again and get another combo card. It's like Stampede, right? Except it's two mana and you get a one, two body. And if you don't kill the one, two body, you can do it again the turn after. Um, but, but, no. no. Um, nope. It's okay. uh, 86. It, it's a good combo later on, I guess. Haha. Uh, but it's not a two drop. Um, you're kind of forced to play all these combo cards, some of which you may not want to play at the time. It dies very easily, so you're probably not going to get to do it the next turn. Like, it's just you, you may get awkward manas on your combo cards. Like, it's not it's not that great. Okay. Four mana, Shadow of Death. Again, another epic. Choose a minion, shuffle three shadows into your deck that summons a copy when drawn. It is eight, eight mana. Points. I mean, eight points. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's very no, bad. No, no. You're using a card, like, to get, like, delay tempo later. Um, Rogues do this a lot, right? Um, you know, uh, beneath the ground, like, uh, beneath the grounds, we saw this with, well, it, like, they, they love shuffling things, and then when drawn, they do something. Sometimes it's actually good, like Feldori Strider. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes you have Shadow of Death. I feel like this is like a huge combo card in Constructed, and so it's not going to do anything oh, yeah, in course. Arena. Right, it's like a Gang Up, right? Yeah. Huge, huge Constructed relevance, uh, or uh, uh, Togwaggle's Scheme, mm -hmm. right? Um, huge Constructed relevance, no Arena relevance. So. And now we're going to get to the Legendary. So we're only getting one Legendary per class this time around for this expansion, because the other Legendary is a Quest, and those are not in the Arena. So, yeah. save us a little time in reviewing these cards. Uncut the Buried! Five mana, five, five. Battle cry. Change each death rattle minion in your hand into a one, one that costs one. Um, this is not a good effect. This is a negative effect. This is worse than a five mana, five, five. Because you're normally not going to want to do that in the arena. You are not synergized with it, most likely. And, uh, and yeah, you don't want it to turn your cards into one mana, one ones. Yeah, this is the problem. Like, so you're already not getting the stats that you should get, and then th this is a, a a decent penalty on a five mana five five, and I think for good reason because for your death rattles, yeah, you can get them out faster, but there is a cost to <laughs> sort of you just reducing your hand too much, and uh, this definitely does that. So. Yeah, it's it's just bad. Hopefully, it's in the lowest uh, legendary bucket, and then because oh, it's an interesting it. card, 
Like, it I wouldn't is, mind playing with it in the arena, but it's definitely not, like, a good card. And in the lowest yeah. bucket, you're sometimes forced into it, right? Yep. All right. So that's it for Rogue. Um, overall, right, like we said, not a terribly good haul uh, for Saviors. You'll see uh, when we get to some of the better haul classes. Uh, but I know. I'm glad. Like, Rogue doesn't need a good haul. Rogue has that hero power. Rogue has been dominant in the arena for the entirety of the wild rotation meta because they do... Uh, adjusts like class adjusts based on average player stats and rogues are like a tougher class to play especially in the early game with like when to dagger when to use coin blah 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 um that's apparent in every single game it's going to be always one of the top classes so i'm glad that it didn't get that power level yep all right cool that's rogue that's rogue all right this is the light forge i'm Adwikta. this is murps see you in the next class bye